Oh, let's talk about one of my favorites. Right? How to quit a bad habit, right? How do you quit a bad habit? Well, number one, you got to recognize that it's a bad habit, right? A lot of times, ignorance is bliss, right? You just don't know what you don't know. Sometimes you could be doing something and not have any idea that it's killing you or that it's making you fat or that it's ruining your marriage or whatever the case might be, right? Back in the, what, 40s and 50s, people were chain smoking like, you know, like it was cool and they had no idea that this stuff was going to kill them. They found out later when they got lung cancer, right? That's called ignorance. But when they begin to communicate that to you and I as little kids, and we've known since we were this tall that smoking can give you cancer and we do it anyway, that's called stupidity. So you got to understand, right, the difference between ignorance and stupidity right out of the bat, okay? But if you want to change a bad habit, number one, you got to recognize that it's a bad habit. Next, here's what I want you to do. I want you to do as much research and gather up as much information as you can about why that habit is bad and the consequences of it and what it can do to you. So if it's smoking, for example, Maybe you'd want to get as much information as you can about lung cancer, the treatments, chemotherapy, how horrible it is, how painful it is. Talk to somebody that's been through cancer recovery. Ask them how much fun it was. Gather up as much information as you can about how much your life is going to suck if you keep smoking. And I promise you this, here's what's going to happen. Your appetites will begin to change. Every time you pick up that cigarette, instead of feeling the pleasure of, oh, I'm going to smoke, you're going to be going, oh, I am killing myself right now and I know it right? And what, what will happen is your appetites will begin to change. So that's step number one is you've got to change how you think about your habit. And then the next thing you've got to do is you've got to replace it with something that you enjoy. So a lot of people have tried chewing gum, or, but, but what will happen to smokers now oftentimes is they'll quit smoking and they'll replace that with eating. So every time they want a cigarette, they'll find something else to put in their mouth and eat because eating is enjoyable and it's a way to replace one habit with another. But Snacking all day long is a bad habit in and of itself, right? Maybe not as bad as smoking, but still not a great one to be into. So find something to replace that habit with that's a good habit, right? So like maybe now every time you feel like smoking, you get up and you go walk around the block and walk outside the office and walk around the block and come back. So instead of a 15-minute smoke break, you take a 15-minute walking break. You may find that you really enjoy that, you like the fresh air, and guess what? It helps you to lose weight. So all the way around, right, that would be a positive improvement. So if you really want to break a bad habit now, number one, you got to want to break it. So the way you do that is by changing how you think about it. You change how you think about it by bathing yourself in the negative consequences of those actions. And then number two, find something to replace it with that you really enjoy. You know, I did this with my late night TV habit. Right? I used to sit on the couch and watch TV for hours and hours and hours in the evening. Well, that wasn't paying me anything and I was getting fat because I would sit there and eat popcorn right, while I was watching the television. So what I did was I replaced that television watching habit with a video making habit. Now I make these short little videos like I'm making right here, and I do this at night for a couple of hours. Well, I can make 20, 30 videos at night, and I figured out how to monetize that. Right? I figured out how to make money. I actually make a really good living making small little videos and publishing them online. And you can do the same thing. I put a link right below the video. It'll take you to workingwithbrian.com. If you want to go there, you can find out. You can see the exact blueprint I used to create this, but literally now I make a really good income making short little videos at night. So whereas before I was sitting on the couch getting fat, accomplishing nothing, now I've replaced that with a habit of making small videos, which I really enjoy, and it's something that makes me money. So it's something that's good for our family, it's good for me, it's, you know, it's good for my sense of accomplishment and everything else. And that's how you replace a habit.